Hey guys, um, I just wanted to do a couple of quick videos for setting up uh, weapons and animations and effects for working in Unity and Unreal 4. Um, so this video is going to be about just a simple process of setting up and exporting assets, making sure that they're clean and setting up kind of a simple animation that I'm going to be using in the other two videos, and then I'll go over the other process. So this isn't a complete pipeline. Um, I'm not going to discuss the process of making the models or textures or anything like that. I'm just going to uh, bring it in, bring in the animations, and implement it so that you can actually get it working in um, Unreal or Unity. So uh, really quick, what we're going to do is I have this, um, this rocket launcher model, and I just want to clean it up to make it easy to work with. So if I open up my outliner here, you'll notice that I have this one thing is called poly cylinder, one thing is called P cube, and then I have a bunch of these extra uh, transforms. Um, I want to actually clean all this stuff up so that it's a little bit uh, neater. Um, and right now I've got this rocket inside um, the barrel of the rocket launcher, and I actually don't want that. Um, so there's a couple of things that we're going to have to take a look at. Um, one of them is for the purpose of this, I want to make sure that both the rocket and the rocket launcher are facing in the positive Z direction. And that's a good convention that helps you um, make sure that you're spawning things from a specific direction and then you can just use like that axis to control its momentum. Um, in Unity, Z is uh, usually used for forward. Um, in Unreal, Z is usually up. Um, so I'm just going to use this in this way and we can go through that. So um, the first thing I want to do is I want to go to edit, delete all by type history. Um, and then I'm going to take this, uh, this rocket um, and I'm going to zero out its transformation. So it's at zero, zero, zero. Um, and then basically I just have my rocket kind of sitting here like this. Um, and then I'm going to select both of these objects. I'm going to freeze transformations modify, freeze transformations. Um, and then I also just want to be aware of where my pivots are. So I usually put the pivot for a gun at the actual center of the handle where it would be held. Um, and then I, um, for the rocket, I, I wanted it to be basically in the center of the object. Now, one thing that we didn't do here, though, um, and this might be worth taking a note of, is uh, figure out what the actual scale of these models is because they're probably not going to be accurate. So um, if I go to my polygon cube, um, I just made a quick cube. Um, and what I want to do is I want to look at what my actual scale units are. So if I open up my animation preferences here, I can go to settings. And so my working units are centimeters. So what I would want is I want, would want a character that's 180 units tall. Um, and is about uh, 30 units wide and deep. Um, and actually, it'd probably be even a little bit more than that, like maybe 60. But, um, okay, so then now we can tell by looking at this um, that this weapon and rocket are not the right size. Um, so what I want to do is I want to grab these, and in this case, I'm going to do it largely by eye, um, but I want to make it so that these are roughly the correct size for importing. So um, in this case, it looks like I needed to make them about 20 times the size that they were um, so that they could look accurate with a human-sized cube. Um, so then now, I, now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and modify freeze transformations again. Um, I want to change the name of the rocket launcher to rocket launcher. And I'm going to change the name of the rocket to rocket uh, projectile. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make a really simple animation. Um, and because I want to do it the right way, I'm going to actually make a bone system for this animation. So um, I'm going to go into the side view. I'm going to hide the rocket launcher projectile. Um, and there's a few ways that you can handle making uh, bones for something like this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up um, a bone for the, uh, the handle, and I'm going to make a bone on each of the ends of the rocket. Um, and I'm probably not going to use them for animation, but in this case I just wanted to give you an idea of like how these things usually work. Um, 
So I'm going to go to my Animation tab, Skeleton, Joint Tool, and I'm going to hold down X to snap to the grid, and actually I didn't do that. Um, so I'm going to hold down X to snap to the grid, um, and then I'm going to snap one in the middle of the actual firing mechanism, and then I'm going to snap one on the back. Um, and so, um, and at the joint I'm going to call, um, I'm just going to call it B underscore grip, B underscore fire point, and I'm going to call the last one B underscore back draft. Um, which uh, these would be relevant for getting an idea of where I'm going to like spawn particles and projectiles and things like that. Um, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, um, in this case, because this uh, gun, this weapon doesn't have any particular moving parts, um, I'm going to select B grip and the rocket launcher, and I'm going to go to skin smooth bind. And then I'm going to go to Skin, um, Paint Skin Weights Tool. And I'm going to take the grip. And let's see what if I move the grip, what we're looking at here. Um, So I'm going to take the grip, and I'm actually going to flood it with a value of 1. So if I take a look here, um, with the skin selected, the grip, I want to flood. And then in this case, the fire point and the backdraft uh, don't matter. Uh, but one of the things that I would make a point of is if you're using a gun that has any slide or moving parts, um, you would want to bone um, along this chain, like the, the last bone in the chain would be very effective to use for um, the slide mechanism. So you could actually pull back the slide and move it. Um, you don't actually, in a case like this, probably have to use a bone system, but I think that it can be useful. So, um, so okay. What I'm going to do is now that I've got this bone set up here, um, I'm just going to make a really simple animation, which is like uh, looks like it's basically um, moving backwards, so um, and kind of recoiling. So I'm going to switch to uh, to world very quickly. Um, I'm going to make a keyframe at the first and the last, and then in the middle, I'm going to slide the gun back, and I'm going to rotate it up, and then. Um, now, obviously, that's going to be really, really slow because of um, the time frame I'm using here. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to hold down Shift and dra click drag to select those keys, and I'm going to move them closer. Um, and then I'm going to hold down Shift and click, slide this one back. And so there I've got it. It's about a second. So let me see how that looks. So it's still... Um, Still probably looks a little bit no good. Um, so the one thing that you want to do with your when you're making recoils is you want to make it um, look like the recoil is happening pretty quickly. Um, so let's see. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to add in another little bit of motion there. So like um, at frame 15, I'm actually going to rotate it uh, it down a little bit below the camera. Um, so let's see. So then when we're looking at this, um, we're going to see it kind of... Uh, okay, so that should be fine. Um, and again, I, this is not necessarily uh, the kind of animation that you would be doing. Um, I'm going to limit the frames here to uh, 20, frame 25 because this is, the, this is all I'm doing here. Uh, but this should give you an idea of something to work with. Um, and so now I have my rocket launcher with my bones, and I have my rocket projectile. I'm just going to export these um, 
And then I should be able to go into my respective engines and make this uh, work. So I'm going to go grab the rocket launcher, grab the top of the grip. I'm going to go to export selection. And I want to make sure I have smoothing groups. I'm going to export animation to turn on bake animation, make sure I'm using skins, etc. Um, so all the rest of that should be in order. So I'm going to go and call this rocket launcher and export. Then I'm going to grab the rocket projectile. So export selection. Just call this rocket projectile. And I actually don't need to do animation here because it doesn't have any animation on it. We'll be doing the animation in code. So, Okay. So now um, I should have those assets. And now I'm going to branch it off into two different videos. One where I show how to get a basic implementation running in Unity and one where I show a basic implementation running in Unreal Engine. So um, tune in for the next videos to see those.